oh my goodness, that was my coffee that just spilled all over the floor. Welcome, happy day. All right guys, so we are doing core and upper body today. We're gonna start with warming up the upper body. I want you to touch those toes, walk out to a plank. So you're going to engage your core here, going down to your knees, bring your belly to the floor, reach up, tap your hands forward, press yourself back up. So this is slightly like a push up, don't get mad, we are warming up. Go to your knees if you need to, reach up, bring them right by your ribs, press yourself up, walk back and forward. Good, do it again, knees down, reach up, Good, and when you reach up, I want you to stretch out those lats, engage that upper back as the means to prime those shoulders, that chest, that body. All you need today, you can make this a barefoot workout, right? Mats underneath your feet, some hand weights. We're gonna do lots of core today, lots of upper body in ways that feel good, get us stronger. And throughout everything, even if it is not a core focused exercise, I want you to engage that core in a way that feels good. Remembering that your core is the fortress and the foundation of your entire structure. Good, give me one more here, please. Amazing, slowly round it up. Good, I want you to give me some nice big arm circles. Stay there, keep doing that. I did have a hair elastic somewhere and I seem to have lost it. Oh yes, I remember where it is, on the sweater. You know when a hair elastic becomes too large that it doesn't fit on your wrist, so you have to put it on your like forearm? That's what happened, that's why it was on my Thing. Good, round four, whichever direction you were going, go the opposite. <laughs> nice. Nice and controlled. Good, other way one more time. Good, and what we're trying to satisfy here is just priming those shoulders for movement. Amazing, bring yourself to the top of your mat again. Touch those toes, walk yourself forward. Keep that core engaged, bring yourself to your knees if you want, chest to floor. Reach above your head, hands right back to your ribs, press yourself up. Walk back, touch those toes. Forward again, keep it tight, all the way down, above, again. Good, you can move through this as controlled as you want, always controlled actually, but as quick as you'd like, right? So if you want to amp it up, you can pick up your pace, nice push up, find your breath as we warm up. Good, and the beauty of these workouts is that you can increase the intensity, you can dial it back if you need to. I don't know about you, but if you joined us yesterday, this is a nice stretch in the back of my legs that are sore. Amazing, this is our last one here. Slowly round it up. Whoo, good. Let's get those arms forward. You can slow it down here as much as you need to. Bending those knees slightly. Find your core. Good. And back. Tuck that chin. I guess I can wipe off up this coffee. Oh my goodness. Nasty. Good. And the other direction, last one. Amazing. We are gonna start with some core, good? So come with me onto your uh, hands in a plank position, good? So if you find that this is bothering you on your wrists, you can always elevate your wrist. So if you fold your yoga mat or put like a little bit of a cloth underneath your the palms of your hand, angling it so that it's not such a strong angle, that will support your wrist if you're finding that bothers you. Good? So, we're going to start here, right knee to left elbow. Good? Left to right. So what I want to see here is almost a pivot forward on the upper body. Good? Bringing that knee as close as possible to the elbow. Firing up that core. Find your breath here. 
And so check in. If this is still really bothering your wrist, you can always go to your elbows. Good? And if you're on your elbows, you're going to bring your right knee to right shoulder. Don't get fooled. On the elbows doesn't mean easier. It just is a variation allowing you to hit that core a little different. Good, let's go three more side. Stay with me. Two, you should feel that core, yes? Two, one and one. Amazing, on your back, on your back. Good, we are going to do no weights to start. Good, hands perpendicular to the ground. I want you to drive those shoulder blades back in together and imagine a ball in between those hands. Good? You're going to press, engage so that the upper abs are fired on. You're going to lower one leg and the other. Good? So regardless of what you are doing, whether it's bent leg or not, good? I want you to press that belly button towards your spine, meaning the lower back is glued against that mat, not allowing any movement there. And therefore we know that the core is activating, stabilizing through the midsection. Find your breath. So you should feel that core activating. If it's too much, you can always bend those knees, let those heels fall to the ground. Let's go for 10, nine, yes, eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop those heels. Keep those arms up. You're going to be reaching. So I want you to imagine an orange underneath your chin, making sure you're not crunching and cramping in that neck. Good. If you need to, you can always support that head. But I want you, if you can, keep those arms up, driving pressure inwards to close those ribs, activate that core, breathing for 10, nine, hold on, eight, seven, six, for five, good, four, three, two, one, amazing, flip over. Again, cushion your wrists if you need it. Oh, I was going to jump on here. Let us see. Um, good. So planking, right knee to left elbow, left to right. Good. Cushion those wrists if you need to. Go across. Good. Now the closer you can bring that knee to elbow, the better. Right? Because then you can activate that core, firing it up. Good. There we go. Good. And the higher you lift that knee towards your armpit, whoo, the more it is firing up. So take your time. This is not a mountain climber. This is core activation in a way that matters. Hold on for five. Breathing. Four. You got it. Three. Two. One and one. Amazing. Holy moly. On your back, please. Ha. Ah. Good. Let's go. Arms up. Good. Again, squeeze shoulder blades back and together, right? Enforcing those shoulder blades back and together. Squeezing as though you have something in between your hands if you want. You can always grab a weight, right? And putting pressure into that weight, one side and the other. Amazing, I see you guys, you got it. Again, you should never let that lower back lift by your breath. You should feel this, breathe through it. That lactic acid burn, breathe through it. Yes, you can. If you need to toggle it back, you can, right? And don't mistake in this straight leg kind of move to be anything but challenging because it should be firing up. Oh my God, those obliques. Something fierce for five, four, control, three, yes, two, one. Oh my God. Heels on the ground, find that orange space between your neck. You're going to crunch up, find your breath. You got it. 
last week when we did a core sequence. I don't know if you guys remember that if you joined me live. I was so sore. My core was killing me. So my hope is that all these workouts are challenging you. And it doesn't mean you need to be sore every single time, but that you are recruiting those muscles adequately that creates a change, right? For five, hold on, lift higher. Four, three, two, one. Amazing, up you get, up you get. Take a 30 second, not even, a two second sip if you would like. We will need a chair later on, but not right now. Just an FYI. Good. Grabbing two weights. So if you don't have two weights, you can always grab a backpack. A backpack so that you can put some books in it or water bottles or whatever it is. Grabbing some two weights. We're going to be doing some rhomboid rows. We're going to be hinging forward, squeezing shoulder legs back and together. Right? What I want to see is that elbow come to 90 degree, passing that body slightly. Now throughout this entire movement, I need that core fired up. That is your stability. You know when you're going to cough and you have to brace or someone's going to jab you in the tummy? <laughs> Hopefully people are not walking around hitting you all day. But that feeling of bracing, that's what I want. That is protecting your spine. That is engaging that core. That is your stability there, my friends, for five, four, three, two. Amazing. We're going to put one down. You're going to lean elbow on that uh, knee. Good. Palm facing forward. Good. 90 degrees again for three, two, one. Hold it up for three seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Keep it tight. Again, hold it. Three, two, one. You should feel this. This should suck a little bit. Good. Because now we're firing up that rhomboid a little different than we just did. More concentrated, this isometric cold. Good, extend for three, two, one. Extend, three, two, one. Good, two more, woo! Don't fall over like I almost did for three, two, one. Other side, huh. balance, balance, balance. Good, other side, same thing. Core engaged, leaning on that elbow. If you need to do that on a couch, a box, a step, you can go ahead. Find whatever you need to support you adequately here. And what I want to see, and why we're stopping the movement, I don't want you to just jerk it up, right? This is not, you know, going to the gym, watching people swing around weights. This allows us to stop the momentum, controlled contraction. Good, recruiting all those muscle fibers to fire up. And these concentrated contractions really help amp up your strength, right? And with at-home workouts, when we don't have access to heavy, heavy weights, Using tempo and technique like this, put it down, can be really helpful. Good, we're going to go into alternating bicep curls. Good, so grab those weights and toggle it if you need to. Go heavier, go lighter. We're gonna go one side and the other. Good, so I wanted to go from hammer to a curl, right? Palms are fight facing your thighs and you're curling up top. What I wanna make sure you're not doing is this, right? We're not swinging that weight lose that momentum and keep those elbows fairly close to your side. So remembering back from like physics 101 in grade 10 or 11, right? If this pulley portion here, if we're lifting that elbow, we're disengaging that bicep, right? It's essentially resting. So when you glue those elbows by your side, your biceps need to engage. And that's what we want. Working on the gun show, for five, oh my God. four, and if you want to amp it up as one comes down, raise the other, three, two, one and one, oh my goodness, one and one, holy moly, good, so don't put them down just yet, we're going to do the same thing, bicep curl hold, bring it to 90, hold it here for five, four, three, Two, good. You may need to go down and wait because we're going to do 10 of these. I know, don't get mad. Good, extend down for five, four, three, two, 
Good, bring it down for five, four, three, two. Same thing, core engaged. Bring those elbows by your side, hold it at 90. Good, release for five, four, three, two. <laughs> Come on for five, four, three, two. Good, and notice, is the right side doing what your left is? Left doing what your right is? Holy moly, three more for five. Four, yes, three, two, amazing, last one, five, four, three, two, oh my God, put it down, shake it out. It has to challenge you, my friends. That's how it'll change you. That should feel, I don't even know what the word is. That should have been tough, yes? Yes, yes, I love it, Latina, good. Grab those weights again, core nice and tight. Find that fortress that is your core. Hinge forward, squeeze your legs back, and together. Let's do them together. Good? Core nice and tight. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears, right? You don't want to squeeze those traps up. Rhomboid row, and again, keeping that body quiet, core engaged, right? Sometimes you'll see people driving through. I don't want that. I want this to be where it's supposed to be activating that back those shoulders, that core, for five, four, three, two, amazing. Put one down, I'm gonna switch sides. Get a nice lunge, leaning that elbow onto that knee. Good, feel stable here, core active. Let's go row up for three, two, one. Extend down, right back up for three, two, one, and really bring that mind-body connection. Squeeze that rhomboid, that back, shoulder blade back and together. Three, two, one, extend. Three, two, one, I know, stay with me for three. Breathing, two, one, extend. Four more for three, two, one, extend. Three, two, one, good. I know it is harder because this is our second round, but stay with me, the last one, three, Two, one, good. Other side. Really good, everyone. Oh, I know. Other side, ready? Flat back, core tight. You should not feel this in your back ever. Three, two, one, good. Extend for three, breathe. Two, one, extend, yes. Three, two, one, good. Hold on for three, two, one, good. Extend for three, two, one. One, you got it. Three, two, one. Looking great, guys, I know. This is what it's about, showing up. We're three, breathing. Two, one, three more for three, squeeze. Two, one, I don't know what it is about the side, I lose my balance. Good, last one for three, two, one. Very good, oh my God, put it down. Shake it out for a second. Woo, you ready? Alternating curls. Let's do it. So oftentimes these slow movements can be boring, right? We're kind of like, oh, can we just go faster? Can we add in some cardio, Catherine? I know you're all saying that. But this is an opportunity to use this moment to pause, visualize, bring your intention. How do you want to show up during this workout, even in those points of Challenge, keep those elbows by your side, yes. Good, right? Who is that best version? Is it the one that just pushes through? Not just pushes through, pushes through even in those moments of discomfort? <sighs> yes it is, right? Is it the moment that you're like, this is bullshit, Catherine, that you're like, all right, let's pull up those panties and say, we can do this. <sighs> okay, ready? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a five second hold. Good, ready? Three, I'll wait for you, Steven. Two, one, let's go for five, four, three, two, good, drop it, end up. Don't drop it, you know what I mean. Lower control, four, three, two, good. Core nice and tight for five, four, three, two, lower control. Holy moly, four, three, two, one, Let's go for five, four, three, 
two, we've got five more, I know, for five, four, three, two, one, lower, good, timer starts, I will count when everyone's here, five, four, Rachel, what happened to the other arm, oh, your wrist, good, four, five, come on, four, three, two, one, oh my God. three more, three more, let's go, three more, we can do it, five, four, three, two, good, lower, two, five, four, three, two, oh, last one, five, four, three, two, oh my God, put it down, oh my goodness, you know what that reminds me of, so when I was, uh, how old was I, I was probably 18, 19, when I got first certified as a trainer, I used to train with this guy, uh, Keith, I think. No, it wasn't Keith, it was something like that. Keith, Keith with an H. And he was, bringing your weight down onto the floor, he was the strength and conditioning coach for an Arkansas farm football team. And that's when I got into powerlifting. And we would do these ladder workouts that you had to do hold a certain thing, and especially with bicep, it just burns, right? Good, so I want you to grab a heavy-ish weight, 15, 20 pounds, whatever you have. Good, or that backpack, and we're going to bring those elbows to our side, so we're gonna hit those triceps a little bit. It's going to feel light to start, good? We're just going to pump those arms up and down. So this is, elbows come right by your side, driving up, squeeze. Elbows come up, drive up, squeeze. Core engaged, good? I want your heels to be driving into the ground. I want you to pull that belly button to your spine, good? I want you to keep engaged here, good. Now you're gonna bend those elbows. Elbows close together, good. Lift those knees, good. And you're going to, sorry, you're going to extend and straighten. So this is like a skull crusher. We did these several weeks ago. Skull crusher, good. And when you're extending your legs, I want you to fire up that ab. So lower back is not lifting. So even if it means that you're just bringing those heels to the ground, that's what I want. So I want you to try to amp up those triceps and that core. Amp it up. Stay here. You got it. We're gonna do upper body and core here. Hold on. For 10, nine. Now you know if you need heavier, eight for the next one. Seven, six. Actually, we're all gonna go heavier on the side of five, four. So wherever you're falling along, whether it's live or recorded, you're gonna do it with me if you can. Two, that is my request, one. Good, V-sit, V-sit. So if you can, you're gonna float those legs up, good, or you're gonna drive those heels down. Good, whatever it is, you're gonna do a Russian twist. So if your heels are up, the only way I want them up is that if you can silence them, that they're not rocking side to side, right? You're going to do that core activation in a way that is manageable, that is stable. Find your breath. For five, four, hold on, three, two, one and one. Amazing. Put that weight down, grabbing two weights, right? So I want it to be heavier, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna keep with my 12 right now. Good, so on your back with those weights, feet down, good? From here, so you can grab two 10s, two 12s, two 15s, good, because we're gonna do the tricep press. Good, so elbows come down. Good, elbows right to your side, core tight, extend. So you should feel those triceps firing up a little bit more, also your chest for 10, core tight. Nine, breathing, eight, squeeze, Seven, you got it. Six, yes, for five. Oh my goodness. Four should feel vastly different than the one before. Three, two, amazing. Good, check in. Can you do skull crushers with this weight or do you need to use one? Good, 
because we're doing our legs up, right? Extend out and in, good. As you extend out, you're bending those elbows and extending, right? So I want this to be accessible. Even if you're like me, you can, straight, you can start with the weights, but I want form to be impeccable. Bend, extend, bend, extend. I'm gonna drop one, bend, extend, bend. Core and triceps. If it's too much to coordinate, you do one at a time. I don't want you to lose the form for either. Nine, breathing. Eight, hold on, seven. Six, yes, for five. Four, three, two, yes, last one, last one. One, holy moly, bajoli. V-sit, please. V-sit, and again, drive those heels down, especially if you're feeling this in your lower back, or float those legs up. Ready? One side and the other. Nice and controlled. We are on. We are on. We are live. Let's do it. Come on. For 10. Nice, you got it. Nine. Good. Eight. 15, I'll try to hold it like this. It just might be easier. Yeah, six. For five. Four. Three. Two. One and one. Amazing. Ah, very good. Am I playing the same song over and over again? Has anybody noticed? This sounds the same song. Good, take a quick, quick sip, guys. Quick, quick sip. Now I feel like I've lost my music. Good, take a quick, quick sip. We are going to get started in a plank position. We're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna unplug that. We're gonna use a Bluetooth. Right Disconnected. All right. We're just gonna go with this. Disconnected. All right. So, plank position. So hands a little wider so you can get into a push up. So what I'm gonna want to see is a face up. We're not pushing from here. We are doing a push up from your chest. Good. So we're gonna do a push up to a downward dog. So we're gonna get our shoulders and our chest, don't get mad. Yes, we are gonna go into shoulders. So bring your chair close by, your step, your box, because we are going to sit on that for ourselves after, good? So we're gonna start with only 10, right? We can do 10, come with me. You're gonna start in your downward dog, good? You're gonna come forward to a plank, push up, finish the push up, downward dog. Come forward, pull a push up, Pushing from the chest, keep that core engaged. If you need to, go to your knees. If this is too much, then you can flip over onto your back. Right, if this is bothering your, um, your wrist, you can go on your back with weight and do a chest press, right? Like you're doing it on a bench. For five, breathing, core tight. Four, yes, three, Two, we're gonna do an Arnold press after this. Arnold. That's a bad Arnold accent. Good. Grab yourself up, grab a seat on your chair, your box, your step. Good? Have a seat. Plant those feet on the ground. Get me a little closer to you. Summer. Okay, arm press, 90 degree, all the way up. Rotate, palms towards you, and up. It was the great Arnold Schwarzenegger that coined this press. And it's a good one. It burns like a mofo. 10, 
Hold on. Nine. Come back to me, Ray. Eight. Good. You want your elbows to be nice and bent. Six. Nice. Between that for five. Nice, guys. Four. Three. Oh my God. Two. One. Put it down. Good. Tricep dips. So, two options. You can do it on the chair you're sitting on. Good. Or you're going to grab a weight, stick it above your head. Good. If you're finding it's too much on your wrist or the chair's too soft wherever you are, good. You choose. Good. Scoot yourself forward. Good. Let's go. Oh, yes. Those triceps. Talking for 10. Breathe. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Hold on for five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, my God. Four. You can stretch them out slightly if you need to, because I need to. All right, come with me. Push up, downward dog. Let's go. You ready? I like it, guys. I like it. I like it. The commitment to showing up. Ready? Starting your downward dog. Good. Go to your knees if you need to for a push up. All the way. Breathe. Two. You got it. Three. Hold on. Keep that core engaged. Four. Five. Six. Finish it up. Three more. Challenge yourself. One more, one more for me. Holy moly. Very good. Let's go. Have a seat. Arnold press. And just be mindful, right? You want to come to the point where it's challenging, but you don't want it to be painful, right? You don't want to hurt your shoulders, right? Shoulders are very gentle, sensitive, Ah, right? So lower those weights. You don't have to be a hero because it might leave you at zero. Two, keep it tight. Three, four, channel Arnold. Four, five. We've got 10 more here. Nine, eight. So he's created quite a legacy actually. In the bodybuilding world, there are still Mr. Olympia, the Olympias, is the Arnold Classic where he shows up and people come and compete for their bodies. Three, I'm just talking. I didn't say stop. Two, I see you. One, we're doing 15. Keep moving. If I'm moving, you gotta be moving. Good, tricep dips, ready? Scoot yourself forward. So the Olympia is, I think usually, Around this time, March, April, usually in Vegas. I don't know if they're having it this year. They started it last year, but then it got shut down, as you know, with the rest of the world. Five more. I know, four. Come back to me. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh. Take a sip, take a sip. We're gonna hit up the core in a minute. So if you ever get a chance, the Arnolds, some of the best, best fitness physiques in the industry show up to compete on stage. It is fascinating if you ever get a chance to see it. Um, you have people that do like routines that are gymnasts that it's quite the feat and their physiques are dialed in. You have some of the biggest women and men you'll ever see in your life like jacked, like huge. Like 300 pound pure muscle. They look like linebackers in football, but they're just like Roddy Coleman, like huge. It's fascinating if you get a chance. It's not for everybody. I'm just fascinated with the physique. Ah, are you ready? We're going to start on our elbows. Good. Nice plank position. So I need you to be mindful of your lower back, your core activation. 
Starting here, wide stance of those feet. Good, so you can either hold it here, or I want you to roll to either side of those feet. Good, so you're bringing that hip to the ground, nice and controlled. What I don't want to see is your butt up here. What I definitely don't want is your back dropping. This is a nice stable core, hitting up those obliques one side and the other for 10. Good, if you need to, you can go from your knees. Eight, same thing. Good, seven, breathing. Six, for five. Ugh. Four, yes, three, two, one, good, flip over, flip over. Hands behind your head, good. I want to see that core activated, good. You're going to keep those shoulders off the ground and we're doing just a, I don't know what we should call these, half a bicycle, good, because you're only doing a lower bicycle. I don't know why the other is actually called a bicycle because when you're bike on a bicycle, you're never actually moving your upper body. So it's a false sense of security because if you ever got on the bike and tried to do that, you'd fall right off. Good, so I want those ribs tucked in and as you're lifting, you're gonna feel that core activation different than when you're doing regular bicycle. I want that spine glued into the mat as you extend one side and the other. Good. We're now going to uh, add in the upper body. Good, so as one knee comes in, you're going to twist towards it. Then you're going to switch, and I want you to pause. Switch, pause, switch, pause. Hold on, find your breath. Switch, pause, keep it up. Switch, pause, find it. Hold on, good, for five. Good, five, you got it. Four, four. Three, three, good. Two, two, one and one. One and one. You should feel that. Good, now you're gonna bring those arms right above you. Good, like you were doing before. Good, and you're going to reach one side and the other. Good, so similar to our crisscross that we're just doing with our bicycle. We're gonna do this just upper body. We're breaking it down. The simple mechanics, reaching, lifting that shoulder as high as you can as you rotate and squeeze. Finding your breath here. Keep going. You got it. If you're almost there, my friends, reach, hold on. If you need to, you can support that neck, right? You want to make this accessible for five. I know, it burns for me too. Four, uh, three, two, one and one. Oh my God. Good, flip over, flip over. Being mindful of your form here, keeping your forearms glued down into the mat. Good. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Wide stance. Swivel for one. Take your time. You should not feel this in the back at all. Good. Ugh. Yes. One more side. One and one. Oh my gosh. Flip over. Look over. We're gonna add a couple bonuses in. Good, lifting those shoulders, one side and the other. Take your time, right? I want you to extend, nice and controlled, activate, glue down, find your breath. Find your breath. Hold on. Oh, see Siri's talking to me. Siri is always talking to me for five. You should feel this. Four, yes? Three, three, uh, two, one. Oh my God. Ah, okay, ready? We're doing full bicycle. One side to the other. Pause. One side to the other. Good. You got it. 
Take your time. Three, three, four, four. Breathe it. Uh, six, seven. Hold on. Eight, nine, ten, and ten. Oh my goodness. Feet flat on the ground. You're going to reach for one side and the other. One side and the other. Reaching for se seven more. Six, for five. Lift higher. Four, hold on. Three, two, one and one. Good, relax. Oh my goodness. Arms above your head, reach to the sky. Stretch out those abs. Really good today, guys. Really good. Good, sit it up when you're ready. Or stay where you are. Crisscross applesauce seated. Arms behind your back. Press that chest forward. Open up that chest. And if you can, you're going to float those arms up slightly. Getting a nice stretch in that bicep. Good, arms by your side. Reach to one side, open up that lat, that back. And the other side. Good, grab that tricep, stretch it. Really great work today, guys. Other side. Good, round forward. Good, palm up, pull those four fingers towards you like a stop sign. You'll feel that stretch in the forearm. The other side. Good, shake it out. Give yourself a hand. Very, very good, everyone.